Basically, I wanted to buy a Decade Resistance box, but all the ones I could find were either really, really high-priced and precision lab instruments, or cheap kind of toys that were not really well done, like weird layouts. So I decided to make my own, and um, one of the neat things I found was these thumb wheel switches on eBay. And so generally on a thumb wheel switch you have a wheel, uh, but on these you have two uh, push buttons. You can push to increment or uh, decrement. And uh, so I used it to make a um, seven decade resistance box. Uh, I haven't actually purchased a project box for it yet, but uh, the hardware part is all done. And uh, I thought I'd show you how I did it. So I have uh, seven decades, uh, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and even uh, megohms, which is kind of overkill, but I had the resistors laying around and I figured why not. And so what I ended up doing was using surface mount resistors. Uh, I used 0805s for everything but the megohm range and that's because I had some megohm res resistors in 0603 laying around and uh, that'll be fine for what I'm doing. Um, let's take a close-up look uh, and I'll talk more about this. If we look up close, uh, we see, um, obviously we have a 10 position switch. Uh, they label the contacts 0 through 9, and then of course you have a, <clears throat> of course you have a, a common um, point as well. And uh, so all you really do is you have a bunch of resistors in series uh, between 0 and 1, between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5, so on all the way be uh, until you get from 8 to 9. And you consider um, the zero contact as one end and the common as the other end. Um, and then you just wire them in series. So we can see here that we have, uh, let's see, we have the zero of one going to the common of the one above it. Zero to common, zero to common, zero to common. And uh, that way they all end up wired in series and you have a um, decade resistor that can go from um, 1 ohm up to just under 10 mega ohm. Uh, of course these are just basic uh, resistors. Uh, a few of them are 1% and the, the rest are 5%. So they're not, you know, uh, we're not making a lab quality decade box here. but. Uh, considering the price, it's actually pretty good. And uh, speaking of price, so I found these on eBay. If you just type in uh, thumb wheel switch, you should see them come up. And you get 10 of them. There's only seven shown here because I only needed seven decades. But you get 10 of them for about eight or nine dollars shipped, which is pretty good. And I find that the uh, sellers in Hong Kong can get their packages delivered to the U.S. much quicker than the sellers in um, mainland China. Um, so I ordered from a guy in Hong Kong and I got it in about four days, which was really good considering I only paid eight or nine dollars shipped. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so let's uh, take a look at how it performs. Uh, I have a couple of uh, just jumper leads. Uh, currently, when I put it in a project box, I'll use probably uh, banana terminals or something a little more uh, robust. But uh, let's let's see how it performs. So I've got it wired up to my multimeter now. Um, I just have a little alligator, or no, I just have some uh, test clips uh, clipped onto it. And as you can see, we have about 1.4 ohms of resistance when the uh, decade box is set to zero, uh, which is higher than you'd want for a professional device, but considering what we're doing here, it's uh, pretty reasonable. And so if we count up, we have 2.4, 3.4, 4.4, and so on. And it's, it's pretty dependable. And then we have, you know, a little more than 10, 
a little more than 20, 30, and so on. See if I can do this single-handed. And uh, you can see, so it goes up pretty high and it works uh, pretty consistently. And um, so we can get up to just under 10 meg ohms, which is uh, ludicrously high for what this is but there you have it and um, yeah so it was a fun project and uh, I kind of recommend doing it if you need a low performance decade box because um, the switches you get 10 of them for under $10 shipped you can buy all of the resistors 1% uh, tolerance for under $5 and so for $15 plus the cost of a project box, um, you have a pretty good tool that'll be useful for uh, low power applications if you don't need a lot of precision. And well, and even if you do, you can always, uh, you know, trim the value. So if you need like 400 ohms, instead of going to, well, okay, so you can go to 400 and just uh, get it pretty close, even if you do need precision. So uh, it's very usable, and I'd recommend making one if you have the, the time and desire. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, hope you enjoyed the video.